Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to record a winged eyeliner tutorial for you. Um, it's pretty simple. I've been doing it for a long time and um, when I first started doing it I was terrible at it. So um, hopefully this will help some of you out who are having some hard times with it because I did when I first started and it does get easier the more that you practice it. So um, I only have it done on one eye as you can see. So I'm going to make the other eye look like this eye. First off, I'm going to take my um, Makeup Geek palette and I am going to use some of the color Shimmer Shimmer. Shimmer Shimmer actually is what it's called. And I'm just going to be placing that all over the lid. Just like that. And the next color I'm going to be using is going to be called uh, Peach Smoothie a little bit of that on here and I'm just going to put it right into the crease area as like a transition color. I'm just going to blend it all out. I'm doing a really like a neutral eye so that way you guys can see the winged eyeliner better and there won't be a lot of colors taken away from it. Okay. Okay and the next color I'm going to be doing is um, Latte. I'm just going to be putting it right in the crease area. My cat is wanting to be on camera apparently. I'm putting it right in that crease area. Just blending it all out. My cat is stay cat. <laughs> okay. Now that I have both of my eyes just with a neutral color, I'm going to take my favorite eyeliner in Physicians Formula, the Eye Booster Serum one. I talked about it in my last video. I really, really love this stuff. Okay. So you start, you know, I start in the inner corner. I put just a really, really thin line. Can you see it? Hopefully. <laughs> But just like a really, really thin line. Go all the way across. And when I get to the edge, I go just a little bit below where my eye ends. And then I'm going to bring it up. So I take it and I bring the tail of it up. You know, and you can go further out or you know further out this way. It just kind of depends. I like mine to be you know more up. So take it up towards the eyebrow, take it to the end, bring it straight back in. I just pulled it up, brought it straight back into the inner part of my eye. It stops about, you know, the middle of your eye is where you bring it back to, and then you have like a triangle on your eye. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> but then you go and you fill that in. And there you go. And if I uh, think any spots need to be, you know, darkened or anything like that, I'll just go back in and darken it up. That's all there is to it. I don't always wear false eyelashes. Um, I kind of believe in if you wear them all the time, then you get used to them, and then you're not happy with what you have. And um, I really and big on be happy with what you have. Um, I like wearing them, but I only wear them like in special occasions or in videos or anything like that or, you know, on stage because it just makes a more, you know, glamorous or dramatic look. But um, I am going to put some on today because this dramatic winged eyeliner is normally really good, you know, with, with um, false eyelashes. So, but I don't always wear them 
they're hard to put on. It takes lots of practice. <laughs> but I just uh, take them. These are in um, Ardell Wispies in black. They, I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of blurry, but they're really just wispy. And then I just take uh, eyelash glue in NYX, the stuck on you um, black adhesive eyelash glue, and you just need just a, a little bit. You don't need a whole lot, but you just run it along the whole rim. And this is the this is the stuff that most people mess up on, so why their eyelashes don't stay. You put your glue on and you don't just stick it right on your eye. If you do that, it's going to move all around and it's going to be gross. So <laughs> you just like let it dry as long as you possibly can. I blow on mine sometimes, but I let mine dry for like almost a minute. 30 seconds to a minute. Just depends. You can kind of see when uh, this glue starts to dry because it turns black or starts getting darker. It goes from like a, like a light gray to a black. You always want to like. I have a mirror. You can't see, but you always want to like get above your above your mirror and like tilt it up, so you're like looking at yourself from like a really 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 weird angle. And uh, while that's drying, I always curl my real eyelashes just a little bit to help them blend. Just a little, and. Should be okay. Oh. You just set it on there like that, and then you take. They make tweezers that are specially for them, but I just use my regular tweezers. And you pull it to the side. And pull it on that side. And always go and like kind of squeeze them down. Make sure it's on really, really tight. Okay, and then let it kind of dry the rest of the way. And then always put like a little bit of mascara. You know, to just blend it in with my regular eyelashes. Because if not, you'll be able to see your real eyelashes. They won't be as black as the fake ones. Put a little on my lower lash line. And that's it. And that's all there is to doing a, um, a winged eyeliner and false eyelashes. And uh, it's pretty much an everyday look except for the false eyelashes unless you want to wear false eyelashes every day. But um, I pretty much wear a winged eyeliner every single day. Um, I just like the way it looks and um, it does make your eyelashes appear to be fuller and everything with the winged eyeliner. So, um, Hope that you guys can try it out and it works for you great at home. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.